Previously on Back From Home, it was a regular road trip with absolutely nothing wrong. Everyone had wondered where I was. Well, I guess in this case, I'm not Forkhead. The contestants found themselves looking for a new advantage that I, Forkhead, not Forkhead, had hidden. Larry was the one who found it, and the alliance of himself, Morton, Cream, and Boo all knew about it. When it was revealed that that challenge started almost a week ago, everyone panicked to find me, Forkhead, not Forkhead, Jesus. Pecky won for Team Ha, huh? which made Larry and Morton's alliance pick off Squirtle the Prankster, who will leave in this episode of Back for the Home. <laughs> oh yeah. So, do you know who voted for me? I mean, if you really think about it, Cuphead is the only one on our team that wasn't directly told who to vote for. At least that we know of. Yeah, I, I don't think he likes me. Anyway, who's our next target? Oh, uh, gosh, uh, well, Miss Chalice is likable and good at challenges. Mimikyu isn't connected as much to the group, and Cuphead is a wild card. Right, right. I'll have to talk it over with the game. Oh, and I also don't fully get how this works yet. It's uh, a little confusing. That's not a question for me. I would go ask Forkhead. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Welcome, everybody, to the next contest. Wait, wait, wait. Another challenge without Forkhead. What did you do to him? I am not allowed to disclose that information. Forkhead. I'm tired of this. Just kidding. He's not having a very good day, so I'm taking over as host for now. Today's challenge is the Cheer Up Forkhead. Each team must create three things that you think could cheer up my brother. No limits. Whichever team gets the lowest rated score by Forkhead at the end will be up for elimination, where someone will be the 11th person kicked out of the season. And the 12th. Wait, wait, so wait, 11 and, and, and 12, 12, wait, wait, but, but there's two numbers! Wait! No. The winning team will spectate the elimination, and based on the results, they'll vote one more person off the losing team. High stakes. Indeed. Now get going. Peach, since you're good at cooking, you can make pasta since we all know that's Forkhead's favorite. Okie dokie. Tails and Lemmy, since you guys are, uh, well, I'll just say, small children, that that you can work together and do your little arts and crafts or whatever your children do. I don't really care. You realize what you're telling to do arts and crafts, right? I can do much more than that. Good, go for it. Okay, so both alliances have intimidating people in them. Tails is nice, but he is incredibly smart. Kala is bossy and is putting herself in a leader role. But at least she doesn't seem to be threatening in any way. Oh, uh, both alliances have the same challenge strategy. My alliance of four is gonna blindside Kala when we lose. Notice I said when, yeah? Well, Lemmy and I agreed to throw the challenge to get her out. So I just gotta do bad in this challenge and then we can vote off Kala. But that's hard because I'm super mega good at challenges. Lemmy and I are secretly trying to throw the challenge to Boot Tails, which is why I told him to do arts and crafts. But Lemmy's definitely going to make sure it ends up being horrible. My alliance of four is in an amazing position, and I am sitting pretty. It would take an idiot to flip things around. Luckily, we don't have one of those in our team. I wonder what leaves taste like. <coughs> Take a good look at the game's bossiest player. Guys, I say we vote for Kella if they lose. That's got to be the easiest, peasiest vote of all time, yes. Want me to go over there and spectate? Please do. What's wrong, Morton? Nothing, nothing, nothing. It's just, why did getting rid of Squirtle feel so easy? Uh, because we all voted together? What do you think? I, I, I don't know. Now it feels like Kala is an easy vote, too. It never is to have the numbers, Morton. Just take advantage of this. Mmm, 
Yeah, I guess I'm thinking on that too hard. Yeah, it really doesn't mean anything. If the Squirtle vote was easy, will it be like that for the rest of the game? How can I make some good moves on my own? I really love my alliance, but as someone who knows the game, I know full well we'll have to turn on them eventually. But for now, I'm with them 100%. What's up, to Getting Lee's to decorate Forecast's car. What? What do you mean? I think it's pretty easy to understand. That's not gonna make it dirty. It'll decorate it. I I thought you knew what you were doing all the time, and now you're doing this. Boo! I very much know what I'm doing. You'll see. Ah. Uh, well, good luck with your decorating. Either Miss Chalice is stupider than usual, or she's actually a mastermind who's kept quiet this whole game. Either way, she cannot be trusted. Morton. <laughs> no, stop, stop, stop it. Stop, stop it, stop it. Uh, my bad. Miss Chalice is very suspicious. Yeah, but isn't she, like, always quiet and stuff? No, no, well, yes, but that's what's making her suspicious. Explain. First of all, she hasn't had a real conversation with any of us, aside from maybe Cuphead. Aren't they, like, friends, though? Exactly. I've noticed she only gets involved with the team if she wants something to stop, usually if someone's annoying her. What? Think of your time back on the Epic Morton. Personally think that he's not doing enough. Shut up! I'm sick and tired of you and your obsession with hating Morton. Morton is definitely insane. But Parrot is so annoying. And then you haven't heard from her since then. <clears throat> yeah. And she always seems like she knows what she's doing. I can very easily tell that she's trying to fly under the radar. Everything she's doing and planning until now has been a secret. That's a little extreme here, buddy. Morton, I'm literally a ghost that can turn invisible. What makes you think I haven't watched her? Hey, no, not like that. Okay. Anyway, just thought you should know. See ya, pal. By telling Morton and everyone in my alliance about everything I see, I'm getting a huge amount of trust that no one else can match. Morton and I trust each other now, especially after the Squirtle vote. I guess all that time ago, Iggy was right, and Miss Chalice is the biggest threat. I guess no one was smart enough to notice until now. Your time is up. Let's bring out Forkett so he can take a look at your appreciation for him. <laughs> Appreciation. <laughs> Hi, kid. Hi. Let's start with Team Don't Talk Smiley Face card. I put a lot of effort into this card. Ten. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, baby! Out of a hundred. Uh, yeah, that's expected. Million. Uh. Next up is Team Hell's Pasta. Shoot! Pasta was a good idea. Peach, where's the pasta? Oh no! Did I forget to make it? Well, it's the thought that counts, so I'll give you a one. What? Don't talk, pour you a glass of water. Actually, that is pretty thoughtful. Seven out of ten. Oh no! Wait, he gave him a seven for what? I made you an arts and crafts project. Yeah, I made it, but then I, uh, put it in the, uh, garbage, yeah. Tails, you dingus! Why did you throw it out? Because I... Wait, why did Peach not make pasta, though? Uh, I don't know, she forgot. I shouldn't even be rating your team at this point. Lastly, for Don't Talk, you decorated your car with leaves! <laughs> I've always wanted a camouflage car! Huh? Told you, boo. Just trust me. 10 out of 10. Not like it matters what else Team Ha has, but let's see it. They forgot to do a third one. Oh well, they're up for elimination. Oh, oh no! no! See y'all tonight, where the 11th and 12th people will be voted out of the game. The plan worked so much better than I expected. Let me really get a good job at convincing Tails to throw out his work. <laughs> Cal has the clear boot here, because our alliance has the numbers. Can't wait to finally make a good move. I'm gonna pull off a super mega play! <gasps> no, poor kid! Can I help you? Hey, could you explain this advantage to me? I still don't fully get it. Ah, I see you found the advantage nullify. Nice one. So basically, while you're going up to vote, write the name of the person whose idol you'd like to nullify. If that person plays an idol, the power of that idol will be ineffective. And not only is that person still vulnerable, but the following day the idol gets transferred to you. So if I use it, I can block it and steal someone's idol? Bingo! You know, I really should have renamed it like an idol steal or something. Nullifier is, uh, kind of confusing. Anyways, good luck, man. Oh, thanks, bro. What? This is so epic! 
You'd think with six days off, production would have enough time to make a decent challenge, huh? I would be a little nervous for Shy Guy, but the man literally has two idols. There is not a chance he's leaving, even if he was on the block. Now, if you'd all please welcome in Team Don't he Talk. Does. It's time for a very interesting elimination. Feeling the tension? Surprisingly not. The first of these two votes should be pretty straightforward. Wow, nice job of making her feel safe. Huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's been a while since I've checked in on this team, so what's been happening? Alliance is all over the place, that's what. Yeah, and I got my super duper alliance. Wow. And temporarily, such bus boy. Fools. We have the numbers, so you'd have to have a really well thought out backup plan if you think you're actually going to be safe. Well, let's not be rude. It's just a game. <laughs> we'll see. You think you have the numbers, but in actuality, you've been tricked. If anything, you guys should have a backup plan. Fine. Let's see which side the vote lands on. Both sides are so confident. This calls for my super mega play. It's time to vote. Shy Guy, you're up. Well, well. It's about time we dethrone this team's leader. Good game, though. May the best player win. Me, of course! <laughs> Man, this move is gonna be... Mega! Now, if anyone has an advantage and would like to use it, I would absolutely suggest using it tonight. First vote, Talon. Tails. Calla. Two votes, Calla. One vote, Tails. Tails. We're tied. Two votes, Tails. Two votes, Calla. Tails. That's three votes, Tails. Two votes, Calla. Calla, we're tied. Three votes tails, three votes Calla, one vote left. The 11th person eliminated from TBG back for more? Tails. That's four, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's crazy. That's, that's just messed up, man. So you see, Tails, I voted for you because I knew if I did, I would be making a big mega move. You betrayed me so you can make a big move? Lemmy, there's a difference between big moves and actual good moves. You seriously cannot think that voting off one of your most loyal friends over someone who has been in control since the beginning is a good move. Uh-uh, I'm sorry, though. I would totally respect this play if it was smart, but you just dug your grave, pal. Tails, it's time for you to go. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Tails. Bye, sir. Take care, Tails. Why, Lemmy? Well, you see, I joined two in lines at the same time because... It was a big move. You've said that multiple times and never backed it up. I'm not sure you know what you're doing anymore, kid. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I messed up. Sorry, guys. You done? I, I, yeah. Great! Time to vote. Wait, what? <laughs> Did you forget about the double elimination, my guy? Oh, man. Not great, Lemmy. Jeez, do I stick with the original plan or not? If Peggy can't trust you anymore, why should we? All right, if anyone has an advantage, now would be the time to present it. Okay, I'll read the votes. First vote, Lemmy. Calla. One vote, Lemmy. One vote, Calla. Lemmy. Two votes, Lemmy. One vote, Calla. Lemmy. Three votes Lemmy. One vote Calla.
12th person voted out of that for me. Lemmy, that's four, that's enough. Oh well, it was fun while it lasted. Yeah, bud, you shot your game in the foot. Sorry for all that. Now I'm stuck with a sassy, bussy boy. Huh? But bye, bye, sir. See ya. Lemmy, it's time for you to go. Anyway, how will Pecky recover after losing two allies? Will Kala's alliance manage to take over the entire game? And how will the relationships built during our team swap affect what's to come? Find out on the merge of TBG Back for More! Doubt that'll be anytime soon. <laughs> We've got the rest of this game under full control. That's not good. <laughs>